Morning guys, welcome to another video. It's Wednesday and it's a what fat Wednesday today. Um, I've decided I'm going to do a bit of a Mitchell's video today. Um, I, I'm sure I've already done one, but I just want to do one. You know, it's uh, middle of the week. Not got anything new to show you yet because um, Christmas hasn't been. Santa hasn't delivered the Wickhams that I know that is coming. Um, it'd be a Wickham's Wednesday if it was. Anyway, Mitchell's Wall Fat. This is the lid of the lovely, the lovely little ceramic dish um, inside of said lid. Top of said lid. Lovely old school font and design on that lid there. Um, now, I've had this soap for quite a while. Used it an awful lot and barely made a dent in the puck. I must have had, what, 60, 70 shaves out of this puck and it's just dented. Um, so it lasts forever. Um, I've seen on a couple of forums over the last few days, uh, I think it was against the grain and TSR, a couple of people sort of suggesting that they have a bit of fun and games with Mitchells. Um, and I know it's been done to death, so as to why people have issues with Mitchells wall fat. Um, some people say, reckon it's water, some people reckon it's the brush, some people reckon it's the way that the Vestal Virgins dance around the Maypole on a given day. Um, no one really knows. Um, all I know is that I've had fantastic shaves from it and I've had no issues lathering it at all with the funky hard water we have here in Stoke. So, how are we going to achieve this today? Well, I'm going to make sure I say this correctly this time, chaps. It's the Mueller R41, not the Mercure that I said the other day with an extra superior stainless blade. Make sure that's Mueller R41. We're going to be having... Cadman 26mm silver tip knot in my L7 handle. One of two. Um, this is my RS, my dad's one. Um, and obviously we're going to be having the fat, which has been blooming now a little bit. I don't think I can show you there. See, you can see, just about see the dent in the puck there. It's the middle of the puck. So, got a bit of bloom water there. And just for the crack, I'm going to rub it in the old face. Just as a bit of pre-shave, haven't done that in a while. So I thought I'd do it today, just because. Now my hands are all slippy, proper slippy. So, give them a wipe. And dry. I feel a little bit lost today, and without my uh, my usual black towel that's in the wash. Um, hadn't planned on having a lunchtime shave today, I didn't shave yesterday. Um, and I'm feeling a bit kind of grubby, dirty, hobo-ish. Um, no one wants to look like a little hobo. I need my little stack, uh, stick with a sack on the back. Anyway, look, a couple of days worth going on there. So, squeeze the water out of the, pot, out of the brush. I've obviously got rid of the blue water, and I'm just going to load. And you can see, you probably hear it. And uh, one one tip people say is load it upside down. So the soap kind of sinks into the brush. Makes no odds. You've got a nice lip. You just about make it out there on the, on the bottom of the bowl, just to get your fingers onto. Because otherwise, you may end up losing this because it's quite slippery. It's, it's highly glazed. Um, all I can say with Mitchell's, to be sure of a good shave, is load it fairly heavily. Some people say load it like you hate it. Um, I don't see that as necessary, but I, I get their point, especially if you've got a particularly soft brush. Um, you can see the lather building up quite heavily there, both in the brush and around the rim of the pot. So it's just catching on the edges there. We've had, what, about a minute's worth of load there? And there is tons of lather going on in the brush. I'd say that's about right. Just make sure that's good and stuck down in there. Sorry, this is the boring bit where you load the brush. So we've got a good load in and around the brush. And it's simple from this point, you just put the pot down, 
and then you start building the ladder on the face. It might take a minute or two just to build it up. But it's worth it. So I hope you've had a good week so far, I'll get ready for the old Christmas holidays. Finished all my shopping. All the gifts are wrapped. Turkey will be uh, cooking soon, in the next few days. Because we like to cheat on Christmas Day, we haven't cooked turkey pre-cooked Christmas Eve. And we cooked the beef and the ham. Christmas morning and then it's wonderful there so as you can see we've got a good thick all fat lather going on right now just going to check in the other mirror Lather's a little bit dry, but there is absolutely stacks of it. So, just going to clean up because lather's gone everywhere. So I'm using my backup beige towel today, not the black one. So let's hope there's no blood. So, just going to dip the tips. Just to introduce a little moisture. Because of the fat definitely benefits from a little extra water. There we go. More lather going everywhere. A bit more water, I think. There we have it. So, it's just about moist enough, I think I'm going to uh, pop a light on, hopefully it won't affect the uh, camera too much. Yeah, it's gone yellow, let's have it, let's leave it. So, we have the R41 and the stainless, superior stainless, sorry, Astro Blade. And now let's see what we get. as expected. Great glide, good cushion, doing its thing. And as you can see, Pulling out all the growth. I know it's a bit grim, but at least we can see what it's doing. There we go. No complaints there, and the fat, let's show you again just to see all that growth just being mown down in an instant by the R41. So I wonder how many of you are expecting shaving goodies for Christmas this year. I know this year will be the first year where I actually get some. kind of called the wife out on it. I said, uh, there's actually nothing I want this year. And then Darren at Wickham's decided to release the frankincense. 
which point I reverted to being a seven year old boy back in the 80s seeing the Argos catalogue and the random adverts on TV going, I want that one, I want that one and uh, yeah, I want that one not to put too much of a little Britain stick on it I want that one Anyway, first pass complete, and as we can see, much reduction, I mean there's still plenty of slickness going on, no complaints there. I mean the blade in the R41 now is getting on a bit, I think this is uh, the eighth shave that it's com going to complete, um, and that's three passes per shave, which is... Probably the longest I've had a blade in an R41, I'll be honest. Um, ordinarily I've seen them sort of die after about five shaves, but I'm one of these people that will use a blade until it doesn't feel good. Um, I don't see the point in throwing out a blade that's maybe had three or four shaves on and still feels fresh. So let's uh, continue to use it and reap the savings so I can spend out on more soap. the grain. I mean this blade still feels really good. I think it takes a bit of time to learn the nuances of a blade razor combination. You find the sweet spot for angle. And uh, once you find it, it's happy days. You can, you know what a blade can and can't achieve, and you can just start making some good savings. Um, I'll be honest, savings is one thing that kind of lured me back to traditional shaving. The main lure was obviously a uh, better shaving experience because carts, as you may have seen on my uh, Secret Santa shave, just tear up my tear up under here something chronic. And it's not surprising to find that uh, whilst there are savings to be had, you soon find them wiped out very quickly by various acquisition disorders. I mean, if you'd have spoken to me three years ago and I'd have said, someone had said to me, you're going to spend 150 quid on two brushes, I'd have laughed in the face. And uh, someone said to me, you're going to spend 40 quid on a razor again much laughter will be had at their expense but really the joke's on me because uh, once you find you get a decent experience it's very hard to not go and buy stuff um, like these wonderful cabman brushes and the Mueller razors and uh, all the odds and sods of soap so just to show you some of the lather that's gathering on the brush it's, uh, it's thick, it's creamy wonderful stuff it's very Christmassy I think I might just for a giggle later on on uh, probably on the UK White Shaving Society Facebook page and probably a couple of the forums as well. I'm going to have a bit of a, a bit of a giggle. See if we can do some lather snowman. Who can do the best lather snowman shot? Don't have to be faces or anything on them. Just uh, body and the head. It's Christmas after all. 
good laugh. So, for the third and final pass, we're going to go against the grain. Yeah, the lighting, I do apologise, gents. Um, it's not the best in here today. Um, it's a bit dull outside and trying to get a balance between the, the incandescent, or well, the big, big bulb up there and uh, getting a happy white balance and all that is a bit difficult. So, no pressure, just letting the razor do the work. Smooth, mostly BBS. Well, that's one thing you can guarantee with this razor. If you treat it with respect, it will give you probably the best shaves a DE can ever give you. trying R41 for the first time as part of a pass round on TSR and uh, the first time I used it I thought well, that's an aggressive beast but you grew to respect and you grew to love how close it got Pass is complete. Clean off and see what we got. So, apart from uh, ear tunnels full of lather, we've got a great shave. Drama free, smooth as you'd like. And uh, yeah, all in all, absolutely spot on. So, what have we learned today? Well, nothing new for me. Um, I know that Mitchell's always gives a good shave. Um, in fact, it, it, it may, I, I can't recall um, off the top of my head, it may be one of the first shaves I've had with Mitchell's and an R41. Um, I can't honestly remember what I tried. Uh, was it last year with the pass around razor? I don't think I've tried it since I've had it. I will check my spreadsheet in a bit. Um, and yes, I do record everything in a spreadsheet so I know what I've used on a given day. Um, and I can track costs, I can track how well a combination of razor and blade performs. And I, I, I might do a video on that separately. Um, but yeah, so I, I know I've got a good shave. Um, once my face dries off, I know I'll have good post shave from Mitchell's because I always have. Um, so yeah, I always find that the lovely wall fat is uh, it's, it's a lovely it's a lovely thing to have on your shelf. Is this is this little pot? It's nostalgic. It's uh, it just it just fits with everything that we do in traditional wet shaving. It looks old school, smells old school, um, performs as it should. It just performs properly as you would expect it to. Um, and when you think if, if if it is truly indeed the original 1893 formula, they got it right a long time ago. Um, so it's not an awful lot you need to change about it. Um, the only thing I'd like to change about it really, um, maybe is the puck size. Because um, it lasts and lasts and lasts. Uh, I mean like I say, I've had about 70 shaves out of this puck and uh, yeah, it just, there's probably another few hundred in there at least. And I mean at least another couple of hundred shaves in there. I'm sorry, I didn't load it overly heavy. So, um, yeah, there, there are stacks of soap in there to go around. Um, but the shave is good and that's what matters. So, 
Gentlemen, thank you for watching my Wolf Fat Wednesday. Um, performed for no other reason other than that it's Wednesday and I wanted to use the fat. Um, so, I'm going to go and sort this video out for you guys. Put it on, we'll make it all look pretty with some credits and some lovely music and hopefully you'll appreciate that enough to give it a like and a thumbs up. And um, if you really like it, I would very much appreciate subscriptions. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching chaps. I've been Nick and I'll see you again soon. Bye.